Kenny Pickett came in and relieved Mitch Trubisky, much like DK Metcalf relieving himself being carted to the locker room against the Lions. Kenny Pickett came in and gave a spark for this Pittsburgh Steelers team, and they almost beat the New York Jets. Is Kenny Pickett the better option for the Steelers moving forward over Mitch Trubisky? Taking a look at his performance this past Sunday against the Jets, 10 out of 13 of his passes completed, great completion percentage, zero touchdowns, three interceptions. That's not the best, but we'll talk about that in, in just a bit. And two rushing touchdowns. Kind of kept the Steelers in the game with his goal line QB sneaks. But is Kenny Pickett the better option for Trubisky? Well, his three interceptions, I will say, one, it's his, rook, it's his rookie year. It's his first game. Like, give him some slack. Cut the man a break. And one of those interceptions, I will say, was to Chase Claypool. It was a great pass. I don't want to say perfect pass, but it was a great pass that Chase Claypool, catch radius, should have been good enough to catch the ball off his hands into the Jets' defensive back's hands, and uh, that ended up being an interception. So Pickett moving forward, though, what I did see in his performance for the Steelers is he likes to throw that ball deep. And this is the best game that George Pickens has had so far in his career with Kenny Pickett as a quarterback, six receptions, 102 yards. And that's because Kenny Pickett throws it deep. That pass to Chase Claypool, that was intercepted. I mean, Claypool could have had some pretty good receiving yards in this game if it weren't for his drop pass. Deontay Johnson, don't quote me on this, but I think there was a deep pass towards the back of the end zone from Kenny Pickett. It might have been from Mitch Trubisky. I could be wrong. But I believe it was from Kenny Pickett. So for a guy going into his first NFL game and completing or at least attempting all these passes deep, I like it a lot. Like he's taking shots and he's trying to get better and and trying to utilize this Pittsburgh Steelers receiving core the way that they should be utilized. And I think it is better for the Pittsburgh Steelers moving forward because the way that Pickens has been playing in preseason, guess what? A lot of his great performances came from Kenny Pickett being the quarterback in preseason, throwing him the ball. Chase Claypool has been almost a non-factor with Mitch Trubisky. Had he caught that catch, would have been a factor. Deontay Johnson, you know, two receptions this past weekend for 11 yards, not the greatest, but maybe with Kenny Pickett under center, develop a little bit more chemistry, could be the safe, like five to 10 reception kind of guy every game moving forward. Like, I like it a lot. And then Pat Frymuth as well. Like, against the Jets, you you may not believe it, but the Jets are pretty good against tight ends and stopping them underneath. Had seven receptions for 85 yards. So, Kenny Pickett is looking pretty decent as of right now. I will say this has this is very, very intellectual by the Pittsburgh Steelers for them to sign Mitch Trubisky knowing that they're going to be drafting Kenny Pickett a little bit later on. Because if you look at the contract situation and the financials of it, It was reported that he signed a two-year, $27 million deal, Trubisky did, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's a little bit of money for a guy that's a bridge quarterback that you don't know is going to be your starting quarterback moving forward. But only $14 million of that $27 was guaranteed. That means $13 million came from incentives. And if Kenny Pickett was named the starter this early on, those incentives, they saved that $13 million. Now, moving forward, pre-June 1st, before June 1st, you can trade him, you can cut him, And you only take a $2.6 million cap hit on the cap space. They knew what they were doing. If they hold on to Trubisky moving forward, and then you release them after that June 1st date and trade them after the June 1st date, then you're going to pay a little bit more money. But a decision is going to be made on Trubisky. He's not going to be in Pittsburgh more than likely uh, in 2023. So the Steelers were very, very smart with a contract with Mitch Trubisky, knowing that they're going to be drafting Kenny Pickett a little bit later on. But to pretty much sum it up, man, I, I like Pickett. I like Pickett. I love, I just keep going back to the fact that he was just attempting deep passes. He was looking George Pickens' way. That's something that the Steelers fans wanted for so long. Hopefully Najee Harris, like this may open things up for Najee Harris, who hasn't been looking the best. But, you know, you can't be too sure about that. That offensive line needs some help as well. Uh, But moving forward, this is a great decision. This is a great decision by the Steelers because a lot of talk has been made or or talked about, oh, it's best for the quarterback to sit and wait and learn your rookie season. I've talked about for two years, three years, four years on this channel. Like, there's there's no data, statistics to really back that up. Like, it's actually proven in the favor of if you start a majority of your games your rookie season, then moving forward, you're actually going to have a better career 
rather than just sitting and waiting. There are exceptions. I get it. Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. I get that. But those are like the only two. Like uh, Trevor Lawrence is having a decent year this season. He played all his games last year as well. Uh, Derek Carr played all his games his rookie season. Like there's just multiple examples on top of examples of players playing all 16 games and they move on to have pretty good careers. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts on Kenny Pickett being the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. Do you think that he's going to be successful this Sunday against the Bills? It's going to be a little bit tough. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to have the best game. Bills defense, man, Sean McDermott on the other. This is just random, but Sean McDermott, like if you don't have your cornerback one, cornerback two, safety one, it doesn't matter. Like it's just kind of like a plug and play kind of defense. They have success no matter what. Like I I just want to give him props on the defense that, that he creates in there. Uh, I guess more so to Leslie Frazier, uh, the defensive coordinator. But still, uh, yeah, we don't expect a great performance from Kenny Pickett. And we have very low expectations. But, I mean, he can get things going with his legs. So uh, leave a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Like, Kenny Pickett, is it going to be a successful quarterback for his career, maybe this season, and for the Pittsburgh Steers and what this means for them moving forward? Are they a playoff contender this season? Or do you think that, hey, let's just see what we got. We kind of need to rebuild right now. But moving forward next season, I think we're going to be in a better spot. Leave your comments down below. I would love to interact with every single one of you.